Okay, so today for our first lesson in our new algebra series, we're going to talk about multiplying and dividing real numbers. The first thing you need to know is that multiplication and division are what's called inverse functions. That means to undo multiplication, you divide, and to undo division, you multiply. So when we have a positive number times another positive number, we're always going to get a positive number. So when we have 4 times 6, we're going to get t positive 24. When you have a positive number times a negative number, you're always going to get a negative number number. Because if you take a negative number and multiply it a positive amount of times, you're still going to have a negative amount of something. So for this, negative 4 times 6 gives you negative 24. Now this works if it's a negative times a positive number. So if 4 was positive and 6 was negative, it would still give you negative 24. And if we have a negative number times a negative number, we're going to get a positive number. So if you think two of the same sign, positive, positive, or negative, negative, is always going to give you a positive. It's only when you have two opposite signs, positive and negative, are you ever going to get a negative answer. So negative 4 times negative 6 would be positive 24. So now we're going to do some multiplying with numbers, and we're going to work on how you multiply fractions. So for this, we're going to take a negative times a positive. So negative 10 times 3 gives us negative 30. And then we're going to take negative 30 and multiply it by negative 4. So since we have two of the same sign, we're going to get a positive number, so this becomes positive 120. Now, multiplication has a property which is called commutative. Now, because multiplication is commutative, that means you can multiply numbers in edder any order you want and you'll still get the same thing. Because if I had taken 3 times negative 4, I would have gotten negative 12, and then negative 12 times negative 10 would still give me positive 120. I can take these numbers and write them however I want and I'll still get the same number when I'm multiplying. Okay, so right here we have 3 eighths multiplied by 5 6. So when we multiply fractions, what we're going to do is we multiply across the top and across the bottom. So on the top we have 3 times 5 and then over 8 times 6. So 3 times 5 is 15, 8 times 6 is 48. So our answer is posi positive 15 48. Now here we have what's called an improper fraction. Or excuse me. We have um, fractions written properly, but in order to multiply them, we have to write them as an improper fraction. So what we do is we're going to take 6 and write it as something over 2. So we're going to take 6 and multiply it by 2, which is 12, and then we have 1 up here, so we add 1. So our new fraction is going to be 13 halves. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to take 4, multiply it by 3, you get 12, plus 1 gives us 13. So this is times 13 thirds. So now what we're going to do is the same thing. We're going to multiply a top the cross and a top the bottom. So we have 13 times 13 over 2 times 6. And when we do that, we get 169 over 2 times 3, which is 6. Okay, 
So for our last example, we have negative two-thirds multiplied by four. Now, the any number divided by one is going to stay the same number. So when we multiply these fractions, we're going to write four as four over one. That way we can multiply across the top and bottom. So this becomes, and since we have opposite signs multiplying, we know it's going to be negative. And we're going to have 2 times 4, which is 8, over 3 times 1, which is 3. Now, it, you can write this fraction as negative 8 over 3, or 8 over negative 3. It doesn't matter. Or you could just write it out front as negative 8 thirds. It doesn't matter because either way you do it, you're going to end up with a negative number. So now we're going to move on to division. And the same rules apply. When you have a positive divided by a positive, you're going to get a positive. So 50 divided by 2 is going to get you 25. Positive divided by a negative or a negative divided by a positive is going to get you a negative. So 50 divided by negative 2 is going to be a negative 25. A negative divided by negative, and you're going to get a positive. So negative 50 divided by negative 2 is going to get you positive 25. So now we're going to do some practice with this. Now, when we divide real numbers, what we do is we are going to write this as a fraction with this, which is the... Um, number, this is the divisor, what we're dividing by, and then we're going to write it to get our dividend, which is what we get after we divide. So we're going to get negative 24, and, we're in, and when we show division, we write it as over 3, and then we reduce. So 3 goes into negative 24 8 times, so we get negative 8 as our answer. When we divide fractions, it's a little different. We use this rule, which is called keep, change, flip. So first, you keep the first term exactly how it is, so negative 1 half. Then you change your sign to multiplication. And then you flip your fraction so that we get 8 thirds. And then you multiply across the top and across the bottom like you would with multiplication. So then we would get negative 8 over 6. And we always want to reduce our fractions. So both of these, 2 goes into evenly. So we would get negative 3 over 2. But there's also this little trick. What you can do is before you multiply, you can reduce. And you reduce diagonally. So 2 goes into 8 how many times? Well, 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 8 3 times, and if you were to multiply that across, you would get 3. Oh, excuse me. I made a mistake right here. Sorry, 2 goes into 8 4 times, and I made this mistake over here negative four and then thirds. That's what you should have gotten. Okay, so when we have a decimal, sometimes it's always, sometimes it's easiest to write it as a fraction. So we're going to take 12 and we're going to multiply it by 0.5, which is the same as one half, because we used our keep, change, flip rule. our keep change, and I forgot to flip this, because this is one half, so we flip it and get two. So 12 divided by 0.5 is 24. So we're gonna do the same thing over here, and we're gonna write them as two fractions. So this is one half divided by one tenth, and then you're gonna keep, change, flip, and if you multiply it across and top, you get 10 over 2, which reduces to 5. Now that's all we're going to do with multiplication and division, but make sure you come back and watch our video where we talk about order of operations.